In switching operations, singularity functions are used as a good approximation to the switching signals and they are used in step response of RC and RL circuits that we will discuss in next videos. Singularity functions are either discontinuous or have discontinuous derivatives and the most widely used singularity functions are a unit step function, unit impulse function and ramp function and we will discuss uh, all three today. Let's get to the unit step function first. It is denoted by ut. Let's draw the function first. In xy plane, we take time on x-axis and step function u of t at y-axis. The unit step function in this xy plane will be 0 for t less than 0 and at 0 it will have value of 1 and for time greater than 0 it will continue to have the value of 1 till infinity. This is t less than 0 and this portion is t greater than 0. So we can write unit step function as when the time is less than 0 unit step function is equal to 0 and when time is greater than 0 then it attains the value of 1. So this is the basic unit step function. At t is equal to 0, it is basically undefined as it changes abruptly from 0 to 1. Now let's suppose that this abrupt change from 0 to 1 doesn't occur at t is equal to 0, but it occurs at some point t node that is greater than t is equal to 0. Let's draw this that function. Here it's a time. And let's suppose this abrupt change occurs at some point t node which is greater than 0. If we write u of t, this was u of t, then this portion will be subtracted from t. So we will write t minus t naught. That is equal to for t less than t naught, the value is 0. And when t is greater than t naught this portion shows the value of 1 so we can say this is the delayed unit step function and delayed by t naught similarly if we say that this function is advanced by time t naught then how we can draw this unit step function let's suppose this time is minus t naught which is less than 0 then at t minus t naught the function changes values abruptly so this was t is equal to 0 and here t is equal to t naught now the function is advanced by t naught and t is equal to minus t naught t plus t naught is equal to 0 here we will write t plus t naught the function is advanced by t naught and for t less than minus t naught the value of function is 0 and for t greater than minus t naught the value of function is 1. Now let's take an example where we can apply the unit step function to an abrupt change in voltage or current like changes that mostly occur in circuits of control system or digital computers so where voltage vt can be expressed in terms of unit step function that is v naught u of t now here t is equal to 0 then v of t will be equal to 0 t less than t naught and v is equal to v naught for t greater than t naught we can write it as vt is equal to v naught u of t minus t naught. The second singularity function is unit impulse function. If we take the derivative of unit step function, then we can have delta t. So take derivative of unit step function u of t and we will get the value of unit impulse function. This unit impulse function is denoted by delta t and that will be equal to 0 for t less than 0 
unit impulse function is undefined if t is equal to 0 as it goes to infinity and for t greater than 0 it is again 0. Let's draw it in xy plane. Let's take time on x axis and unit impulse function on y axis at t is equal to 0. The unit impulse function has the value that goes to infinity. And for t less than 0, it is 0. And for t greater than 0, it is again show the value of 0. Integrating the unit step function results in the unit ramp function that is denoted by rt. So integrating from minus infinity to t u of lambda into d lambda that will be equal to t u of t. So we can simply write unit ramp function as let's draw it first in x y plane and for t less than 0 its value is 0 and at t is equal to 0 it starts increasing just like the slope or a linear function. So let's pause here value is equal to 1 and we just draw the projections and this is the value of the slope. For t less than 0 its value is 0 and for t greater than 0 it's a slope that is basically t whose value will change with time. The ram function changes at a constant rate 